Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Bonfani from All Children's Hospital and Children's Orthopedics and Scoliosis Surgery Associates. Today, we are going to talk about stress fractures, a common condition that occurs in adolescent athletes. Stress fractures are an overuse injury. Our muscles not only move our joints, but also absorb shock and protect our bones. When we overdo it, our muscles get tired and weak and can no longer absorb the shock to our bones. Our bones can handle some stress, but if it's too much, small micro cracks or fractures develop causing a stress fracture. Stress fractures can happen for a number of reasons. The most common is increasing the amount or intensity of an activity too quickly, especially if the activity is new to you and you're not in shape. For example, think double sessions in football, starting a new track program, or basic training in the military. Changing training conditions can also cause stress fractures, things like switching to a clay court in tennis, running on pavement instead of grass, increasing your training time, or running with worn out shoes are examples. Basically, anything that increases physical stress too quickly can cause stress fractures. Most stress fractures occur in the lower extremities, that is anywhere from the pelvis down to the feet. Common places include the metatarsals of the foot, the tibia or shin bone, the knee either just above or below the joint, the shaft of the femur or thigh bone, the femoral neck or hip, and even the bones of the pelvis can be affected. Symptoms are usually gradual in onset. Pain occurs with activity and is relieved by rest. It may gradually worsen over time so that the pain becomes more severe and lasts for a longer time with less activity. The diagnosis of stress fracture is made by asking your history of training, performing a physical exam, and taking x-rays. Stress fractures may not show up right away on x-ray and additional studies like a bone scan, CT, or MRI may be needed. Rest from the activity is the mainstay of treatment. It usually takes six to eight weeks to heal. You can do other activities during this time as long as it does not cause any pain. Stress fractures are rarely an emergency, but one type can be a big problem if not identified early. That's the femoral neck stress fracture. If you have pain in your groin area with activity, stop and get it checked out as soon as possible. Things you can do to prevent stress fractures include setting incremental goals. Don't run 10 miles on your first day. Gradually build up over time. Do some cross training. Do other activities that complement your training. For example, add uh, flexibility and strength training to your running program. Eat a healthy diet and make sure you're getting enough calcium and vitamin D. Use good equipment. Don't run on worn out shoes or sneakers that have no support like Vans or Chuck Taylors. Get checked out by your doctor if your pain is severe or not getting better with rest. Remember, play safe, stay healthy, and above all, have fun. Thank you.